Okay, uh, S squared is called the sample variance. Um, and I'll get this. Okay, so this is our sampling applet as before. We've got the numbers 0 through 10 in the box. But now what we're calculating instead of the sample mean or the sample sum is we're, camp we're, we're calculating S squared. When we draw a sample, each time we draw the sample, we're going to calculate this, this thing I've just covered up. That is, the, the, um, the, the, the sum of the squares of the residuals from the mean divided by n minus 1 and not taking the square root. We're, we're looking at s squared because it's s squared that's supposed to be unbiased for the standard deviation of the box. So the SD of the box is 3.16. Okay, the square of the SD of the box is 3.16 squared, which is about, uh, this, let's start by drawing with replacement. Um, is that going? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. Okay, which is 10. <clears throat> okay, and so here we are. We're going to take a sample. What was that? That was a sample of size 5. We took, drew five numbers at random with replacement from the box, calculated S squared, the, the, the sum of the squares of the residuals from the sample mean divided by 5, and then that's it. That's, that's what we got. So we can do this a bunch of times. And let's speed it up. OK, so now we've drawn 10,000 samples of size 5 and plotted a histogram of what values we got for S squared. And if you look at what happens, you know, sometimes you get a very big value. Typically, you get you know, kind of a moderate value. The mean of those 10,000 values that we got, 10,000 values of S squared, was just a little bit less than 10. The expected value is 10, right? The, 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 S, the square of the SD of the box. OK, now if we draw the random sample without replacement, then it turns out that S squared isn't unbiased for the SD of the box squared. It's unbiased for a thing that involves, when you're calculating the SD of the box, instead of dividing that by the population size, you divide by the population size minus 1. So it kind of corresponds to the same denominator in some loose sense. So if we go to sampling without replacement, now if I'm taking something that's like the SD of the list, but instead of dividing by the number of items there are on the list, I divide by one less, the result is going to be bigger, right? Smaller denominator, bigger ratio. The expected value of S squared for sampling without replacement is a little bigger than it is for sampling with replacement. Okay, And in this case, it ought to be 11. So if we do this experiment, another 10,000 draws from this box, this ends up being very, very close to the expected value. Okay, the, the average value of S squared for drawing with replacement from this box turns out, sorry, drawing without replacement from this box turns out to be very, very close to its theoretical value, which is bigger than the SD of the box. 